Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back. And my, what have I got a whiskey? I've got a storming, barnstorming, probably the darkest whiskey that I've ever come across in my life. It's certainly one of the darkest I've ever come across. It's so thick, it's so, I can't even see through the other side. Can't see my fingers, can't see nothing. If I didn't know it was a whiskey, I'd probably assume that it was maybe some Guinness. It's lacking the Guinness head on there, but if that was to have a white head on it, it just looks to me like a real, real black Guinness. Black whiskey. This is from the um, James Eady, Independent Bottlers. It's the first James Eady that I've brought to the channel. Single malt Scotch whiskey, aged 10 years from the Abelour Distillery. This is bottle number 229 of only, there's only 309 bottles of this, guys, so I'm aware this video, it may reach out to some of you, it may have any interest to some of you, but I think this whiskey is certainly worth bringing to you because it's it's such a unusual whiskey, I just had to share this one. So it's distilled in 20 of September 2012, bottled 2023, finished first fill all the rose of Hogshead, oak European finished for 12 months. Sherry cast finish and it's cast strength. Yes, it's exclusive to the UK, this one. Pretty sure it might be sold out now, guys. So hopefully you can bear with me and hang around and stick out because I think this worth this whiskey is worth worth checking out. Ten year old age statement. It's unshell filtered and it's natural colour. And I see it's coming in at a whopping cast strength fifty eight point eight percent ABV. So without any further ado, guys, I'm just gonna dive straight into it because it, I'm so excited to share this one with you. This is this is proper, proper sherry. This is so dark. Look at that colour. It's it's gone out. That light now is catching us a little red hue going through there, real deep, deep. I don't, I don't even know what colour to say that with. That's uh, it, it's not as black as it was in the bottle, but there's a real nice burgundy, dark, dark burgundy colour going through there. But yeah, wow. What a colour. Usually it looks like a big dram, guys, but as you know by now, if you watch the channel regularly. It's just a little tiny whiskey friend capita glass. So let's let's dive in and nose it. Rich, rich. Did I say it was rich? Dark, dark sherry. Raisin. Plum. Juicy plum. Dark chocolate. Big, big dark chocolate note there coming through. Dried fruit. Yeah, the the raisins are there, the big, big raisins. Cherry, a little bit of cherry in there now as well, a little cherry. No. But, wow. What a nose this is. Look, can't even get over that colour, guys, but it's incredible. Dark fruit, dried fruit. There's a little um, oaky note there as well in the back, little spicy note in the back. Maybe some charred oak. A little bit of a little bit of spice. I see I'm getting my nose pretty much well into this glass, guys. So at 58.8, I was probably expecting a little bit of nose prickle, but there's absolutely no nose prickle whatsoever. But as you really spend some time with it, all those typical sherry things come out. That little bit of Christmas cake there now as well. This would be a whopping Christmas cake, guys. This is this is if you're mixing that Christmas cake and you're pouring your brandy or you're pouring whatever into it. This is like it's got a full bottle of all or also into the mix. It's that thick. It's that Christmas cakey. This is a proper Christmas cake note on this one. But those plums, the plums are smelling a wee bit juicy plum. What I'm saying, juicy, but definitely a plum note there. Little hint of orange, maybe a little bit of orange note in there as well. So nice. What a wonderful, wonderful nose, guys. But we as we know about the channel, guys, it's not just about nosing it from time to time. We like to taste it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to send this, really send it down the hatch responsibly, of course. Cheers, folks. Wish me luck. I think I might need it with this one. Oh my. Oh, what whiskey. Dry. Spicy. 
that 58.8% now, you know that it's 58.8%. But, uh, guys, it's surprisingly easy to sip for 58.8%. I would never have guessed if I was doing this blind, I'd never have guessed this was 58.8%. That dryness is initially there, and then it's gone. The, the whole palate now, mouth coating, it's thick, it's oily, it's syrupy. Coats the, it gets in everywhere, but it's so rich. So mouth coating. So when you really dive into it now, the first thing that's jumping out is those boozy raisins. Sultanas, all the dried fruit stuff, the dark fruit. That little bit of orange zest is there as well. A little bit, maybe a little bit of orange citrus. Definitely a lot of orange, you know, in there. But here comes the, the dark chocolate. The big, big, massive dark chocolate note. And there's a really, really nice dark coffee, maybe espresso. It's definitely a coffee note coming through. As it comes through, if it comes in with the raisins and the figs and the dates, the dried fruit, and then the the chocolate and the coffee kind of come through. A little bit of maple syrup in there as well is a nice little sweetness. But it's, it's not sweet as you would... Uh, I'm saying sweet, but there's also a nice savoury... Woody, spicy wood, charred oak, maybe, maybe a little bit. There's a little savoury note in there as well. Little umami note, and it's it's wonderfully balanced. It's beautifully put together. It's going a little bit nutty now as well. Some nuts coming through. The maple syrups there. The chocolate. The coffee. Heading into the finish, it's that maple syrup. Definitely some honey. Wow. Let's do a little bit for the finish, folks. Yeah. Wow. Oh. So easy to sip. This is also always bordering on dangerous, guys. Be careful with this 58.8. Into the finish. Yes, the spices coming through. The, the It's honey. It's a really lovely dark, dark, dark honey. Sticky honey. You're almost molasses-like. So there's molasses there. It's waxy, it's spicy, it's dry, it, but it's fruity. It's fruity and it's spicy. I think the spice is maybe cinnamon, maybe nutmeg. But definitely, in fact, there's even as it's as it's heading through to the finish. There's a lot that the the chocolate is turning a little bit more toffee, a little bit more treacle, a little bit more dark toffee, dark sticky treacle. Wow, the orange it's like a blood orange. So everything about it's dark. Hence, it's a dark whiskey. Makes sense for it all to be dark, but yeah, it's got a little, it's got a beautiful mix of sweetness and a beautiful mix of savoury going on with it. Beautifully balanced, beautifully interesting, really engaging. Wow, what a whiskey. I'm going to try it with some water, guys. See what the water does. And boy, can this take the water. I'm going to put a few drops in there. About six drops in there. Let's give it a wee sugar. Sorry, Gav. Let's see what it does. Okay. With the water, it becomes a little bit more... Some of the sweetness is gone now. It's definitely a wee bit more savoury. So we like savoury whiskies, and you might like this with some water in it. Spice is coming out a wee bit more. The raisins have taken a wee back seat now on the nose of this. The raisin sultanas, it's more kind of plum. Chocolate's still there. Coffee's coming through again. But it's just a wee bit more savoury. That's probably the best way of saying it. But let's let's taste it on the palate, guys. So easy. Takes a little bit of spice off the the palate, but it's gone a little bit drier. Uh, here comes the spice. Wow. This is like a bit, a bit more berry now, maybe some blackcurrant, blackberry, 
It's almost like Ribena. It's got a taste of Ribena, but at 58.8% ABV. So it's got a real, real... Wow. So nice. So interesting. Yes, it's a complex whiskey. Guys, I'm not going to score this one, but if I was going to score this, this would be... In fact, well, let me score it. Yeah. Me as well. It's, this, for me, is... Probably as good a whiskey as I've tasted for a while. So I'm going to score this one a 92 out of 100. So I'm quite comfortable at scoring that. I think it's the highest score I've given for a wee while. What a whiskey. I think I paid £70 for it, maybe. 70 75 maybe. Uh, I think it had free shipping on it, which was cool. Wow. Lovely long aftertaste. The finish is long, lingering, warming, spicy. That nutmeg and cinnamon's there. The molasses, the honey. Wow. What a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Well, guys, if you've liked the video, you know what you do. Give me the thumbs up. If you've not, give me the thumbs down. Excuse me. If you're going to give me the thumbs down, please dive into the comments and let me know why. And maybe I could make your whiskey experience a wee bit better going forward. But other than that, big thanks to my Patreons. Until the next one, guys, I'm Alan. I'm the Whiskey Friend. As always... The pleasure is in the sharing, and don't forget to send great whiskey straight down the hatch. Cheers, folks.